Walt Wallers and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be doing the Blamco Mac and Cheese from the Fallout Cookbook. Kind of got you over here at my stove already. Sorry for the weird angles on today's video. It's the only way I could kind of get my whole stove for you guys. Uh, to get started, I've already started boiling two medium-sized chopped carrots. And we want to boil those until they're tender which they are done. I'll strain those out here in a minute and add them to my blender along with one and a half cups of milk and a half of a cup of heavy cream. We'll also need eight ounces of cheddar cheese, four ounces of fontina cheese, a fourth of a cup of flour, two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, two teaspoons of mustard powder, two teaspoons of onion powder, and a, ha a fourth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I've also got five tablespoons of butter melting to start our roux, and I've got a pot of water on to boil for one pound of elbow noodles. I'm going to get these drained and pureed up so we can start the roux. My water is ready for the noodles and I've already salted it and I'm just going to dump those, my noodles straight in and give them a quick little stir so they don't stick to the bottom. And I will set my timer for eight minutes. Cook your noodles according to the package directions and the tenderness that you like for your noodles. At this point my butter is melted and I'm going to go ahead and add my seasonings to the uh, flour and just stir this in. At this point we're going to add our seasoned flour into the melted butter and again I'm using Wonder Flour but AP Flour works just as well. I just like how um, finely ground up the Wonder Flour is and how uh, smooth of a sauce that it makes. That's why when I have it I tend to use it for any roux based gravy or sauce that I'm making. I have to forgive my whisk. My son got it for me a long time ago and I'm quite fond of it even though it's quite old and things like to get stuck up inside of it. Switch over to my spatula for a minute. We just want to let the flour cook a little bit and the spices just to get that raw flour taste out of it. It smells good already just the spices warming up. All right it's been about a minute and at this point, I'm going to grab the carrot and milk puree. And I'm going to start slowly whisking that in. Trying to work out any lumps that might form. Alright, now we're just going to whisk this until it starts to warm up. The carrot, the hot carrots did warm up the milk, so it shouldn't take that long. But we want to get it warmed up so that the cheese will melt evenly when we add it in. Make sure you whisk out any lumps that you might have missed when you were adding your milk and carrot puree. I forgot to mention that when I was boiling the carrots, I did lightly salt the water just to add a little extra flavor to them. This has started to heat up so I think we can start adding our cheese. We'll get rid of this real quick. Before I add the cheese I'm going to go ahead and add in the Worcestershire. 
and stir that in. There we go. And now I'll add my cheese. And again, this was eight ounces of sharp cheddar and four ounces of Fontina cheese. And I'm just going to slowly add that in in small batches until it's melted. While I'm slowly melting the cheese in, let me remind you of the Gamers and Geeks playlist that JPEG of Death and I have going on in our channels. It is a community driven playlist and if you would like to be a part of that, all you need to do is go out, make a cooking video, post it to your channel, and then let either JPEG or I know, either in the comment section of our latest cooking videos, or if you are a part of his Discord server over there as well. Again, we've had a lot of really good submissions, a lot of wonderful dishes. I've tried a lot of them personally, and they've all been fabulous. You know, we look forward to any future videos that you guys do. It looks like our cheese is just about melted in. The noodles are done. Let me get the noodles drained and we'll get this combined and have a bowl of mac and cheese. Okay, Vault Dwellers, there we have it. Blamco mac and cheese from the Fallout Cookbook. I did add a little bit of salt and pepper before I served it up, but it came together really quick and it tastes really good. I will definitely make this one again as well. Remember to check out the Fallout Cookbook playlist and the Gamers and Geeks playlist. I will leave links down in the description to those. But for now, thank you for joining me. I've been Vault Girl. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I hope I see you in the next one.